Make sure that EMS for SOLIDWORKS is checked in the SOLIDWORKS add-ins. Right-click on the three-phase axial flux generator model and select study. In the general properties tab, name the study as no load simulation open circuit. In the analysis type, choose transient magnetic. In the coupling analysis tab, check motion coupling. Choose the motion study already created using the motion for SOLIDWORKS. In the moving components, Select both the rotor cores and PMs. In the band component, select the band. You can notice that the time duration in the general properties tab is automatically set to the time defined in the motion analysis. Select the band and the outer air, right-click on them and select Apply Material. Under the Air folder, choose Air, then select OK. Select all the magnets, right-click on them and choose Apply Material. Enter the Permanent Magnets folder, enter the Nodium Magnet folder, select N, 4,221 material. Now, Select all the north magnets, color it in red. Right click on them. Then, select Coercivity Direction. In the Coordinate System, check Global Coordinate System. In the Direction Type, select Cartesian and set the Cartesian Direction to along Y axis. Now, select all the South Magnets, colored in blue. Right click on them, then select Coercivity Direction. In the Coordinate System, check Global Coordinate System. In the Direction Type, select Cartesian and set the Cartesian Direction to along Y axis. Reverse the Magnetization Direction by selecting the Reverse Direction option. Select the two rotor cores. Right click on them and select Apply Material. Under the Linear Magnetic Materials folder, choose Mild Steel, then select OK. Select all the stator coils. Right-click on them and select Apply Material. Under the Conductor Material folder, choose Copper, then Select OK. Right click on the coils and select Wound Coil. In the Entities tab, select the coils of the first phase in the Select Entities box. In the Entry Port box, 
Select the faces of the corals. In the exit port, check same as entry port. In the general properties tab, set the number of turns to 90. Check the change filling factor option and set the filling factor to 0.8. In the current source tab, select DC current source. Repeat the same process for the second and third phases. It's to be noted that if you select Keep Visible, you can save the coil properties for the next wound coil. Select all the PMs and coils and set the element size to 4.5 mm in the control parameters option. Select the upper and lower rotor cores, then set the element size to 10 mm in the control parameters option.
To view the simulation results, double click on the results table. If you want to view the flex linkage results, select the flex linkage values of the three wound coils. Then click on Add. You can see the preview of the flex linkage versus the time by clicking on Plot Preview and view the plot in order to view the points by clicking on Pop up Plot. You can check the data of the curve by clicking on Listing and the points of the flex linkage versus time curve will appear on the right of the chart window. In case you want to check the magnetic field plotting, double click on the magnetic flux density. Copy the previous study in EMS by dragging it to the three phase axial flux generator model. In this study, we will analyze the open circuit behavior of the model. Rename the study as No Load Simulation Short Circuit. Then click on OK. In the coils section, right click on the first coil and select Edit Definition. In the General Properties, Change the coil type to voltage driven coil. Set the initial current value to zero voltage. In the voltage source tab, select the DC voltage source in the voltage source. Set the DC voltage value to zero volt. Do the same thing for both the second and third phases. Now, right-click on the model and select Run. To view the simulation results, double-click on the results table as shown previously.